of a person. It, is, it has a very many, many characteristics like your body language, your grooming, your manners and etiquette, etc. etc. So image matters. That's why image matters. Because it's an overall mental conception which you acquire on a limited set of information. That is a limited set of information because you're not carrying your placard, either you are an engineer, IAS, doctor, or anyone. You're not carrying that information. So image matters. And uh, for that, you should always try to <coughs> make your image larger than life. You should project your image larger than life because your degree can get you an interview, but not the job. And so you should work upon your skills to uh, get those skills, acquire those skills for a person you're looking to become in your future, right? So, and most importantly, your first impression is very important. And for that matter, style comes into picture. So there are many styles. You can have your style there. And there's no list of style that you can follow from. There's no list of style. You can have your individual styles. So I'll just brief you a few. There's a classic style. Classic style never goes out of uh, the scene. It always stays there. They have a defined cheekbones and all those things. Their classic examples are Mumtaz and Deepika. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, this yeah. Is yeah. And amongst the guys, you have Akshay Kumar for that reason. Then you have the dramatic people. The dramatic people are very confident and they are flamboyant. They use their face as a palette, like an artist sketches and uh, you know you beautifies the sketch. So they are ready for the experiment. The examples are Zina Taman, Kangana Ranaut, or you can say amongst the male uh, Ranveer Singh. So they are always they are always good for this. Now the terms elegant people. Elegant people fill the space with their presence. They, they have a very pleasing personality, they are polished, so mm, they are Rekha, like for example Rekha, Deepika Padukone, and amongst males you have your Amitabh Bachchan, Shah Rukh Khan. Then there are natural people who, are, who carry a wholesome look, or you can say healthy look. These people, they wear minimal makeup or no makeup. They carry simple clothing and all those things, like for example Madhubala, Anushka Sharma and Shah Rukh Khan. We, there are many different types of bodies. We all have different bodies. But what the idea is that we all try to fit into the best clothes, whatever body type our, we have. So the idea comes to disguise the other's eyes. So similarly, you have different face types. You have uh, oval face, round face. Oval face is considered to be the best face. It can carry any hairstyle, any hairstyle. So once we are aware of your body type, your face type, your tone, then comes your skin type. Now there are three different skin tones. The cool tone, the warm tone and the neutral tone. These skin tones decide your colors. The colors of clothes you wear, the color of your hair or the jewelry for that matters. This all is defined by the color of your skin. When you are done with your clothing, then comes your wardrobe. So an organized wardrobe is the benchmark of a successful person. Organized benchmark is a benchmark of a successful person. For that matter, the new terminology has surfaced these days. It's a capsule wardrobe. Now capsule wardrobe consists of uh, a clothing which are key, key clothing. The idea is to have minimal clothing, right? And in coordinating colors, so that you can interchangeably Wear them. In that, th this results in maximum number of outfits and less clothing. So this is the idea. Just grab an hanger and you have an outfit, not one clothing. Otherwise, you would be searching for it. When you are done with your clothing and all those, you should try to keep yourself clean, healthy, hygienic, with your nails, with your hairs, with your eyebrows, with your facial hair. All this comes under grooming. When you are done with the grooming, then comes, how do you speak? There comes communication. 95% of the people across the world speak their own language. So one has nothing to do with this. One should not be nervous or have fear about any foreign language. And it's always good to learn any foreign language. Any foreign language. But the impact is different, different. The visual amongst the communication pattern has the maximum impact. It has around 55% of the impact. 55%. How to demonstrate that? Simple. 
just mute your television and see. You will easily grab what is happening there. Easily grab. Whatever is going across that play, whatever is going in that movie. For example, if you are uh, uh, watching somebody is crying, you can just see that. You can just feel that, okay, the tears are flowing. So you can just see that. You are not getting anything. Basically, you are not getting anything. For example, that matters, this girl is shouting, how? So you can easily interpret. Very simple. So, then come similarly the facial expressions. Now, there are very there are many facial expressions, like uh, they are basically emotions of a person. Emotions can be like fear, sadness, happiness, or, or you say for that matter, uh, empathy, anything. So, these expressions you can easily see from the faces of the people sitting. So this is happy, this is unhappy, or he is he's, uh, he's nervous, or something like that. And so is the eye contact. Eye contact establishes trust and rapport. It establishes trust and rapport. As a speaker, it gives you confidence. As a listener, it gives you respect and attention. Both. And believe me, when you are using your hand gestures while giving presentation or conversation, it makes you more interesting. Like the, this gesture, there are many gestures. This is this gesture says so that this person is standing with locked hands. It, this person means that he is afraid or he disagrees. So it can be used both to understand or both to reflect also. If I don't agree with you, I'll lock my hands. That's it. Thank you. <laughs>